hello students this lecture for class 4 and this is the chapter 3 working with windows 7 so now let's start this chapter in this chapter first we are discussing the points we will learning in this chapter so what is the learning outcome of this chapter The first learning outcome is features of Windows. Second learning outcome is the computer icon. And third is creating shortcut. And fourth is the start button. And the at the end file folders and their operation. So in this lecture, we will discussing only features of Windows Seven and how can we start Windows Seven. and what is the start menu only let's start this chapter computer is a machine that cannot think on its own and requires instruction from us the most important program of computer is operating system it is medium through which we can interact with the hardware using software it controls all the activities of a computer there are various type of operating system such as windows linux unix etc window is a graphical user interface gui pronouns is gui between a computer and its user it has been developed by microsoft the world's leading software company in graphical user interface we found some icons background images uh, some kind of stuff so who developed microsoft windows bill gates founder of microsoft and he developed windows for general purpose computer system in 1985 some applications images so first we are discussing windows xp so this is a window xp screen you can see here is a taskbar and start menu Now, next one is Windows Vista. So this is the Windows Vista screen. And next one is Windows Seven. So this is the Windows Seven screen. Now, time to discuss the feature of Windows Seven. The first version of Windows operating system was. Windows 95 Since then many versions of Windows have been released The most popular version of Windows are Windows 98 Windows 2000 Windows Me Windows XP Windows Vista Windows 7 Windows 8 and Windows 10 Windows 10 is the latest version of window. Windows. Windows 7 operating system has become very popular because of the following feature. So now time to discuss the feature of Windows 7. Feature 1 is attractive and easy to use. Windows 7 has a very attractive appearance with colorful themes the use of graphics make it quite interactive it works the way we want and make new things possible so this windows was attractive and their feature is easy to use so this is the first feature of windows 7 now The next feature is searching made easier. So in this operating system using Windows 7 we can 
quickly search any file or folder in our computer. So it is a good option for Windows 7. Now next is flexible task bar. The task bar of Windows 7 is more flexible and application oriented it unlike the previous version of Windows. We can pin our favorite program on the taskbar for easy access. Now, next feature is Windows supports multitasking. So what is the mean of multitasking? Windows 7 can effectively perform more than one task at a time. So that is a multitasking. For example, we can type letters in Microsoft Word while enjoying music, Windows Media Player. So in a multitasking, we can perform more than one task at a time. In the same time, you are typing a letter and you are listening music in your computer. So you are performing two tasks at the same time. So that is a multitasking. So next feature is jump lists. This is a new feature that tags us straight to the documents, pictures, songs or website you have recently visited. To open a jump list, right click on program button on the Windows 7 taskbar. For example, the jump list for Internet Explorer show the recently opened websites. For example, you are using Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox browser or any other browser in your mobile phone. So when you search some website, these websites show in your recently tabs. So you can directly click here to open any recently visited website. So that is an example of jump list. Next feature is cache caching windows. This option is displayed when you right click the taskbar, the cache caching windows option arranges all the open windows from the top left corner of the screen to bottom right in layers. So by this option, if we already open many windows, so it will arrange all the window in a cascade form, top right corner to bottom right. So this is also a good feature of Windows 7. Now, how can we start the windows? When we switch on a computer, Windows OS, OS referring the operating system, start loading into computer's memory. Once the process is completed, the first screen that appear on the monitor is known as the desktop. It contains some graphic of symbols known as icon. So in this image, you can see these are the icon. This is the start button. This is the task bar. This is the complete. This is the bottom bar. Is the task bar, and this is the desktop. You can see here is mentioned. Now. Today's last topic is the start button. This is probably the most used button on the Windows desktop. When we click to start button, a menu displaying the major options appears. These options provide access to the main program on a computer. So that is the start menu. Picture of taskbar sorry start menu so this is the start menu when you click on this start button so this start menu will open you can search here program 
directly and this is the your recently program that you have opened okay so now this is the start button and this is your start menu now thank you student for watching this thank you all